Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how you can create content for your social media posts automatically using an artificial intelligence tool called as OpenAI. Okay, so we are going to connect a few applications here and we are going to set up an automation by which you just have to enter the details of the post that you want to create in a spreadsheet like in Google Sheets and after that the content of the social media post will be automatically generated and will be automatically posted on your social media platforms just like Facebook and you don't have to do anything manually. So it will save your ton of time and it will boost your online presence as well. So we are going to set up this without any coding very easily. So let's begin. So guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool to set up this automation. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the link in the description. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach this dashboard of Pabli Connect application, okay? And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here. So I have given the name here as create social media posts automatically. And now I'm going to click on this create button and the workflow page will load up here in front of me like this. And here you will find these two things guys, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up this whole automation. So the trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger event. Okay. So here guys, it is asking to choose your application. So here we are going to choose that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So in our use case guys, we want that whenever I add these kind of details in my spreadsheet, like the caption or the title of the post, and the social media platforms name, the workflow should trigger and start working and generate content for me. Okay. So Google Sheets would be our trigger application. So search for Google Sheets here. Okay. And the trigger event would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. So like this. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, you can make a connection with Google Sheets. And after that, you can capture the data from Google Sheets uh, and bring it here in this workflow. So guys, these are the instructions written here. You can read these steps below to make this connection with Google Sheets. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So guys, first of all, I'm going to open my spreadsheet here in a new incognito window. So if you are also using multiple Google accounts in the same browser, you should also open your spreadsheet here in incognito mode to make the connection properly. Okay. Now guys here, you have to click on extensions and from this add ons, click on get add ons. And from this Google workspace marketplace window, you have to install an add on, which is called P A B B L Y Pabli connect web hooks. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see I have already installed it. And after installing this, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step. All right. And after refreshing, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down. And from here, click on initial setup. And here you will find these two fields, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in this Webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the name of the final data entry column that you have in uh, this spreadsheet. So guys, final data entry column means, let me show you. Here you can see I have these three columns, A, B and C. Okay. Now I am filling the details starting from column A. So I'll fill the post caption or the title. Then I'll uh, fill the social media platform's name. And as I'm going to enter the data here in this column, I want that the workflow should run. Okay. So B column is my trigger column. Okay. And after generating the content, the content will be updated here. That will happen later on in the next steps of automation. Okay. So here 
let me click on extensions Pabli connect Babux initial setup all right and here the trigger column is B so B is already written and let me erase this field okay and here let's copy our new URL that we got here the webhook URL of our workflow let me just copy this and paste this URL here like this okay right and here you can see guys in the workflow as I have copied the URL it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response this means guys now you have to bring some test data here in this workflow from your spreadsheet okay so to bring the test data here you just have to click here on the send test button under this initial setup so when you click on send test the data of the first row that you have will be sent to your workflow as the test data okay so let me click on send test here and here you can see test data sent successfully is written here let's check our workflow if we got the data captured and here you can see guys we got the data captured and it is showing the spreadsheets name the trigger columns name and here uh, you can see the social media platform and the caption everything is here now you can go back and click on submit here in this initial setup okay then close this window and from extensions you have to come to Pabli connect webhooks option one more time and from here click on this send on event option as well so when you click on send on event what will happen whenever you are going to add any new row here the workflow will trigger okay so we are done making this connection after this guys uh, we want to generate the content using open ai application so we are going to connect open ai here in this action window so search for open ai and after this you have to connect uh, you have to select the action event now okay so the action event would be generate content okay select this option then click on connect here and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of open ai application okay so you will find this key from the open ai api keys page let me show you that so guys this is the open ai dashboard and here i'm going to click on this profile icon and from here you will find this view api keys option and when you click on it you will find the api keys right here and you can generate a new key by clicking on this create new key okay this is the key that we want just copy it and you can paste it here and then click on save and you will be connected with open ai right and here it is asking to select the artificial intelligence model so open ai have different ai models to generate content so i'm going to use this text davinci 002 model so this is the mostly used model okay and it will give, give you accurate results so you use, use this only and here it is asking for the prompt okay so guys prompt is like a command to open ai okay and with the help of this command the open ai application generates things for you so guys you can uh, learn about the prompts from the documentation of OpenAI and let me show you how you can give a prompt so i am giving the prompt here as so i have given this small prompt uh, i have written write an article for social media platforms like and here after like i am going to place the social media platform which i have got from my spreadsheet the name of my platform was facebook and i have captured the data here in this first step and I'm going to map this social media platform label from this first step to this step like this. Let me show you after like you just have to put your cursor. Okay. And the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data here only. So from here map this social media platform label. Okay. And that's how you can map the data. Right. So guys, we are mapping this data here because uh, whenever you are going to enter the details here the, the platform's name platform's name can change okay so as you change the name here the labels are going to be updated here and new names will be placed here okay and in the article topic i'm going to map the topic from the spreadsheet uh, from this post caption slash title uh, label okay just map it so, so this will be the topic of the article and this will be the platform 
here it is asking maximum number of tokens or words that you want to generate so the default value is 256 so i'm filling here 300 let's say i want an article a small a small article of 300 words and here it is asking for the sampling type so it uses sampling technology for generating the content so generally we use temperature sampling option here which is the default option here you have to provide the sampling value between 0 to 1 so the default value is 0 .07, 0 0.7 let me put here 0 0.8 okay you can you you can leave these penalty th uh, options blank and here it is asking for the stop sequence so stop sequence uh, is the sequence which is going to tell OpenAI when to stop and you can provide the sequence like this you can see the example slash n or slash hashtag whatever you want so i'm just putting here slash hashtag okay and here it is asking best of so uh, it generate best of completion server sites and returns the best okay so when you select best of one, best of two it will give you best of two i'm selecting best of three here right now you can click on save and send test request button and it will start working and generate a test article for you in front of you. <clears throat> and here you can see guys, we have received this response and in this choices zero text label, you can see and read the generated text. You can see, are you looking for ways to automate your software development process? If so, you're in the luck. There are a number of different ways to automate your software development and we have compiled a list of some ideas and actually the title of the post is this latest software automation ideas and very appropriately OpenAI have generated an article for us okay you can see it has given us the list of the latest id latest ideas of automation okay now guys after generating the uh, article i want to share it on facebook but not only article i want to uh, share an image with this article also so to generate an image i'm going to use switchboard canvas application okay so switchboard canvas in is, is an image creation and designing tool so just click here on this plus icon and here i'm going to search for switchboard canvas <clears throat> and the action event would be create image then click on connect from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of switchboard canvas application so you'll you can find the key like this this is my switchboard canvas and let me open the templates page this is my templates page and here we have this view your api key button let me just refresh the page again so by clicking on this view your API key, you can get the key. So I'm just going to copy this post to type API key. Just click on copy and paste it here in this field. And then click on save and you'll be connected with switchboard canvas. Okay, so we are connected and here it is asking for uh, to select the templates name. So guys to create images, you need to uh, you to create images using this automation, you need to have some image templates inside switchboard canvas so guys image templates are the templates by which you can generate multiple images okay so this is a template i have created for social media posts you can see the name all right and here guys in this template you can see this text box is a variable thing so we can change this text box with every new image we are creating so i'm going to select this uh, template so the name of my template is social media post so here you can see the list of all the ima image templates you have from here i'm selecting this one and here it is asking for the width and the height of uh, uh, the image that you want to generate so you can just see the width and the height from here from open uh, from switchboard canvas 1919 is the width and this is the height let me just uh, enter the same data here so the data we are entering here manually as is going to remain static as it is okay this is not going to change and here it is asking for the image and the title post title so guys here you can see we have uh, two variables here you can change the background image and change this uh, image uh, sorry this text 
box as well the data of the text box so guys we are going to just change this text i do not want to change the background if you want to change it you can change it okay so i'm just going to map this text here so i'm going to uh, map the data from the previous step and here you can see we have received the open ai generated content like this but guys this content is quite long so i'm going to cut cut this content a bit shorter so that i can just place uh, a snippet of my content in my po image post okay for that i'm just going to click here on this plus icon in between these two steps before switchboard step and another action step will open up here and here i'm going to search for text formatter feature of pabli connect search for text formatter and here in this action events list you will find an action event which is called truncate so truncate shortens the given string and adds ellipses at the end of string okay so select this option truncate then click on connect here so guys here it is asking uh, which text you want to truncate so in this text label i am going to map this choices zero text label okay so here just click on this text field and from this previous step map this label okay and i want to cut this whole text shorter to 100 words so here it is asking what maximum length you want so i'm going to put 100 and uh, i do not want to skip any characters and yes i want to end this uh, string with ellipsis so ellipsis means you can add three dots it at the end or you can write something if the uh, truncated uh, truncated text uh, gives you an uncompleted sentence it is better to end the sentences with ellipsis so i'm just going to put here uh, three dots and i'm going to put read full article from the caption okay so it will make make it clear to the audience what we want to do okay now click on save and send test request and you will get the shorter version of the article that you have generated using openai and here you can see we got this 100 verse string are you looking for ways to automate your software development dash dash dot 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 read full article from the caption now this will enter here in the image in this post title field just click here okay so it is not showing the previous steps now because we have added one more step after this step previous in here okay so uh, this means you need to refresh this connection now with switchboard canvas to refresh the connection you just have to click on connected one more time and from here keep this existing connection option selected and click on save again and the connection will be refreshed like this and when you click here now it will show you the previous steps and from this last text formatted step map this result label okay now click on save and send test request button and an image will be generated for your social media using switchboard canvas here you can see guys we got the image generated let me open this image for you okay so you can see the image the text is are you looking for ways to automate your software development and a new image is created with the help of this template okay so we got the post we got the post image now it is time to share it on social media so just click here on this plus icon and connect any of your social media platforms for example i'm going to show you facebook pages but here you can connect with twitter connect with linkedin connect with instagram or any other okay so i'm just going to search for facebook pages okay and the action event would be create page post then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with facebook pages and i have already logged in in facebook so it may it might bring you to the login window first and here you can see it is asking me to continue yes this is me okay and you can see we are getting connected now <clears throat> okay so we are connected and here it is asking for the page's name so the name of my page is this pably tech okay and i have many pages here so it is asking to select the page so this is my pages list i am going to search for pably tech from here and select it 
and after that you can see the pages or access token is filled and this is the message field so here you have to enter the message or the post or the article that you want to share on facebook page so i'm going to map the article from open ai step so i'm going to map this full article here and in this link url i'm going to attach the image url that we got from switchboard canvas application the previous step okay so this is the image url now you can check your connection with your page by clicking on save and send test request button and a new post will be created here so this was the last post we have a video post let me click on save and send test request here and see if a new post is published from my facebook page or not so here you can see guys in this response a uh, post id got generated here let's check in facebook page if we got a new post i am refreshing my page guys and here you can see guys we got a new post published just now and the uh, caption is are you looking for ways to automate your software development and you can see the whole article is here and the same image that we have generated is also here okay so this is how it is going to work guys our automation is working fine and last but not the least if you want to update the generated text here in your spreadsheet you can do that also for that you just have to click here on this uh, plus icon and from the section step search for google sheets okay and in the action event we are going to select update cell value option update cell value select it click on connect and from here you can select your saved connections by selecting existing connection option and from this connections list you can see any of your saved connections and then you have to click on save one more time and you will be connected again okay and here it is asking for the spreadsheet's name so the name of my spreadsheet is this social media post so you have to select the sheet's name from this given list and then the sheet name will be auto populated here you can see because i have only one sheet here in the spreadsheet named as sheet one and it is showing up here and here it is asking in which range you want to update the data so to find the range you can see i want to update this cell so when you select this cell in this name box you will see c2 c2 means column c row number two okay this is the range so guys here i am going to put capital c <clears throat> and after that i am going to map the row value from the first step you can see in the trigger we got this row index label here from the spreadsheet and it is showing two so i am going to map this row index label here after c in this step okay from this first step so we are mapping the row index here because whenever the row is going to be updated the row value here will also be updated c2 become c3 then c4 then c5 then c6 so as the row is going to be added here the row index will change and the row index label will change here as well and right a cell will be updated every time this workflow executes okay and what value you want to update here i want to update uh, the generated text so the generated text you will find here from the open ai step just map this data here in this value field then click on save and send test request and the same content will be updated here in this cell let me show you i have clicked on save and send test request guys this is the response we have received let's see in the spreadsheet okay and here you can see guys we have received the data here okay so you can just wrap this text or pin this clip this text as well okay like this so guys we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that whenever you are going to add any new row here in your spreadsheet the data will be generated out of open ai and switchboard canvas and will be shared to your facebook page or any other social media platform automatically and the workflow is going to work in the background all right and you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know 
how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel